he doesn't look like much happened to him. If it did hit him, I mean, it definitely didn't stick in him because it was just laying on the ground. Looking at the zombie, doesn't look like much of anything happened to him. These slugs got annihilated. I have all nine pellets of double hot buck here. And you can see they're in pretty good shape. Here we go. <laughs> this is the full metal jacket right there. And as you can see, it is very warped and flattened. Again, these rounds are not doing a very good job making it to the zombie. Here we go. Ooh. Here is the 7.62 by 39 round, the full metal jacket, and it is actually kind of flattened out. I didn't really see much damage to the zombie down there. It didn't look like anything has phased him. So up next, we're gonna see what would happen if you were underwater and you got shot at with a 50 BMG. This is my Serbu BFG 50A. And I'm gonna be loaded up with one round. This is a 50 BMG, 650 grain, full metal jacket. Oh, oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. oh dear. Ah, 50 BMG. That is the jacket to the full metal jacket. And actually, I even have the tip of it. And then this is wild. I, I have been filming videos for almost 10 years and I have recovered a lot of rounds, but I've never recovered a 50 BMG steel core that is in that good a shape. I mean, it is so shiny and perfect, that is nuts. So I reviewed the GoPro footage and it doesn't seem that either one of the 50 BMGs actually struck the zombie, but they also did not have enough power to even make it through this thin layer of plastic that this container is made out of. So I'm gonna say the 50 BMG at six foot six inches of water, it's not really doing much.